Sounding worse than a moose in heat. This is failing. This is failing. <laughs> this is failing. Hello. Thank you for tuning in to Milanenko TV. On today's episode of Will It Tenderize? We're going to try this old washing machine we have here. Roll it through the uh, dryer and see if that works. And then we're of course going to test it if it's tenderized as we do. So, let's try this baby out, shall we? Oh, no. <laughs> the meat doesn't want to go through. <laughs> Come in. Yeah, come in. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. So. Det var mycket illa uppe i inte dör och just den också. Vi har inte något beef igen då. Jag vill inte. Han är bara skrynklig jag hoppas. Ah! Kanske för mycket plats. Ja. Bit too much. Plastic, we think. Let's just try one. Push it a little bit. Oh, it's Beef is too big. Screw on here on that egg. It's a good cheer on it. It's a good cheer on it. We seem to have some slight issues with the meat. It doesn't want to go through. It's a hopeless meat. It's probably a weak meat. So now we're going to take the weak meat out of the plastic bag and try to run it as is. We just have to <laughs> slightly sanitize, I think. Or maybe, well, de-germify. I don't know, but there will be meat. Hold on. So now this guy is trying to Clean, clean the thingy, like me. I think you have to turn it while you're cleaning. My feet. I doubt there will be anything left after it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's looking good from here. I hope. I, if not, we can just clean it off inside. Alright, hot We don't want, 
We don't want, want this to be too clean. No, then it will take away the, the aroma. The aroma. We need the washing machine aroma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, attempt number three. Now we're, we're... Is it sucking the meat? It is sucking the meat. It's sucking the meat. And, uh, and then what? Nothing more. What's happening? <laughs> what's, what's happening with the meat? Uh, Do we have too much pressure? Might be. We ease the pressure. You 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 turn and I then. turn and you do that. Wait, change. Yeah, everything's okay over there. You're holding the meat, and I'm gonna. Does not want to. Why doesn't it want to go? That's the wrong way. It's refusing to go. Why is the meat not going inside of this perfect meterizer from Upu? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Find two pieces of cloth. Like this one. Okay. Or... But yeah, but we wash with that one. You have to cut it in half. One piece of cloth like that, and then we put the other piece of cloth over that. And then we... Now we have resistance. And then we put the cloth in the washing machine. And then hopefully it's just pushing it out. This is not working. It's not working. Why is it not working? It's the Why is this one not going where it's supposed to go? Or has the resistance... Wait a second. Is that the right way to do it? Or if you turn it, does it come up there? Or does it go down? Oh, that's worse. I think... Why does this not work? Now, now with Maver, we have space. Sounding worse than a moose in heat. This is failing. This is failing. This is failing. So we're not having tenderized steak today. Half of it is done. Whoa! Oh, we had an incident. But it's nothing left of it. <laughs> <laughs> so in short, we have to do something entirely different. This is not working. This is not working. In short, you cannot tenderize meat with a old Upa washing machine. It that does. is actually weird. I was not expecting no, that. I, I thought that would be pretty Simple. I thought it would work quite well, but...
it seems the beef is just too resistant to our washing machine. But I have an idea. We'll use a mangler. We have one inside. <laughs> Alright, now we've gone inside and we're going to try this Rosenlev mangler and see if that one does any better than the Upo washing machine we used. I have more hopes for this one. Not that I mean I didn't have any hopes for the other one because I really did think it would work as I intended it to but it failed. But this one will be as it should be. I hope I see you Just let it run. Let yeah. it run. It's looking good. I see. Oh, I see the juices coming through, so I should stop. Let it. It came through the, the plastic bag again and made a bit of a mess. Uh, but did it work? It kind of did. It's a lot flatter <laughs> than it was when we started. So it worked, worked as intended. Oh my god, that's flat. That is very flat. I wouldn't say it's as flat as the Mercedes Benz, but it did work. So we're going to stake it and see how it tastes. Right, I've now staked the meat and we're going to try it out, see how it tastes. I only know that this beef has all been through some stuff, like always. I've never dared to witness it, I only know it's been through some stuff. It tastes a bit drier but that's because of the chef and not the mangler, but it's tenderized. It does taste good. Unfortunately, I do not taste the taste from the washing machine or the mangler. So, when it comes to that special aftertaste, there is none. Let's see what my brother thinks. You say it was through a washing machine and a mangler. Yes. It tastes like beef though. A little bit dry. Mmm, but that's on the chefs. So you're saying you're bad? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's nothing wrong, no. I could do that again. Not that I will. Waste of electricity. <laughs> this one doesn't seem like it's as flat as the Mercedes. No. One. The Mercedes one was flatter than this. I know the Mangler flattens a lot of stuff. But it does not flatten <laughs> beef very well. <laughs> Supposed to flatten clothes, not beef. Now you know that. And don't try putting it through the dryer and the washing machine. Especially not an Upa one. Because it doesn't work. I think that's all. Yep, remember to subscribe and like. We uh, will probably have some more ways of handling the steak and eating it, like the men we are. we got a few ideas we could try, but we won't spoil anything, so you'll get to see that when we put the video out. There will be one, even though we're slow. Next week, bye-bye. Bye-bye.